everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim. This truck here is Daisy and we are hauling paws. This video is not all fancy, not going to have any edits. It's not going to have any real how-to in it or anything like that. It's just a video I wanted to put out to say thank you to all my subscribers out there that have been watching all my videos. If you're not a subscriber, it's not too late to click the button. Santa will see it and you won't get coal for Christmas. You know who you are. Click the button. So anyway, I have delivered the last run of 21 in Houghton Lake, Michigan, and now I'm on my way home to spend the holidays with my wonderful family. I hope that you get to spend some time with your family over the holidays. After January 1st, I'll be back at it out here on the road and putting out some different travel videos, try to go to some new places. I will have a couple of videos coming out over the break here. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas. Uh, one's about safety and then the other one's about hours of service. I just learned something new today that I didn't know and I don't even know how many hours it has cost me since I started doing this. But it's something that they didn't mention and they, they just kind of glassed over it and said, oh, this doesn't matter, but yes, it does matter. So I'm going to do a video kind of explaining hours of service. Most of you understand the hours of service, but maybe some of you have missed the one little piece that I missed too. I didn't think it was a big deal, but now that I really think about it, it is a big deal or it can be a big deal. But anyway, I'm on my way home. I got uh, maybe a little bit of work to do to Daisy. I'm going to I had a airbag blowout on not this run, but the one before it. It was a heavy camper, and the airbags on this truck are old. I don't know, five, six years old. I don't know how old they are, but airbags don't last forever. They're just like any other piece of rubber. They wear out, and I finally blew one up. I noticed that it wasn't feeling right going down the road, and when I stopped to check stuff out, I found out one of my airbags is flat, big hole in it, it exploded. So I'm going to be replacing the airbags over Christmas break, so maybe I'll do a video about that. It won't be like a how-to to install airbags totally, but it'll be a how-to replace airbags if you need to replace your airbags. Another thing I have to do is unmodify my modified suspension. <laughs> Back when I first got this truck, the previous owner had had the rear end lifted. I don't know why just the rear end was lifted, but it was way high. I couldn't even get my truck camper in the bed of my truck. So I took out all that lift stuff and I actually lowered the vehicle lower than stock and it leveled the vehicle out. It was fine for my camper and my truck camper and the snowmobile trailer and the DJ trailer. Yes, my son and I are DJs. If you need a DJ for your wedding, hit me up. We are killer. But anyway, the, uh, the suspension is not set up for all in these bigger, heavier campers. I bought them out more than I should. So I'm going to put it back to about stock and give my suspension some more travel so I can haul those heavier campers and not worry about bottoming out and tearing up my airbags. So anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to kind of touch base and say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year or whatever you celebrate. And uh, I'll see you after the first of the year. As always, have safe travels and I hope to see you on the road after the first of the year.